Hi friends. One of the common questions that's asked during interviews is, given an array of integers, find the first missing positive integer. So in our case, we are given an example array like this, and we are asked to return the first missing positive integer. In this array, the answer is 4 because 1, 2, and 3 are present in the array, but 4 is not. On top of it, we are given two conditions. One, we want to solve this problem in time complexity of O, N, and space complexity of O, 1. Uh, one way to solve this is use a set, a hash set in C sharp. Is if we define the hash set, passed in the array as input, we would get a set of all unique integers in this hash set. And then finding out the first missing positive integer is a trivial matter. If we started iterating from 1 on, so 1, 2, 3, and so on, we stop when we find the first integer that is not found in our set, and we return that value. And that will be our answer. But we can't use that method here since we are asked to solve it with space complexity of 1. So how do we solve this problem? So it turns out there is a way, but that involves a little bit of trickery. The first step to solving this problem is partitioning this array into positives or positive integers and the rest of the values. So one possible partition result is this. What we've done here is we've moved values that are greater than zero to the left and all the rest to the right. Once we have performed this action, the trick is to use the element value in the array to mark the corresponding index in the array by multiplying it with minus one. What does that mean in terms of solving this problem? So what we do is we start traversing this array from index 0, which is element 1, and up to index 3, which is element value 2. We are not interested in any values that are 0 or less. As we traverse this array, we take the element value and we use it to multiply the corresponding index in the array by multiplying it with minus 1. So when we encounter this 1 here, we will use that value of 1 to mark index 0 by multiplying it by minus 1. So in this case, our array will look like this after we've finished with element value 1. Then we move on to the next element in the array. When we find element value of 5, we ignore it. And the reason is that element value 5 will represent the fourth index in our array. But since we are interested in indexes only up to 3, we can 
ignore and move on to the next element value, which is 3. So when we find a 3, we'll mark index 2 by multiplying it by minus 1. And we do the same thing for element value 2. That means we mark index 1 by multiplying it by minus 1. And now we've reached the end of the array or the end of the subarray that we wanted to traverse. Now finding the solution is traversing through the array again and finding the first element that has a positive value. In this case it's 2 and since 2 resides at index 3, the first missing positive integer is 4, and therefore our answer is 4. So hope that explains the algorithm itself. Now we'll go into C sharp and write the code to solve this problem. So what I have here in C sharp is a class called first missing positive integer and it has one method run and we are going to expand on that method to solve the problem. First things first, let's get the edge conditions out of the way and so let's add this code here which is checking if the array length is 0 or it's null and return 1 if that's the case. Next we want to partition this array. We'll call our method to partition as partition positives and pass in our array. We'll use Visual Studio to help us quickly define the method and let's start writing the partitioning method. Now, what partitioning here means is that if we find a value that is greater than zero, then we want to make sure that that value is to the left. And so we do this by checking each index for value greater than zero. And if that's the case, we swap the value with swap index one value, swap index value. So what that essentially means is writing something like this oh, array at i equal to and one optimization we can add is we only do this if swap index and I are not equal. As we traverse through this array, what we'll end up with is the partitioning that we're looking for. And so now what we can do is return our swap index, which is the index in the array where zero or negative numbers start. Now as we said before we are only interested in 
the left side of the survey. Now if this length is equal to 0, then return 1. Since we know that if the length is 0, then the element does not have any positive integers in it. Now what we do is one iteration through the array but only up to length, only up to the partitioning index and this is where we mark elements in the array. Let's explain the statement. What we want to use is the value of what we find at a particular index to mark another index or rather an index in the array by multiplying it by minus 1. The reason we need to do an absolute value is because as we traverse this array we might have already marked a value at a particular index and therefore we want to take the absolute value of the element value at that index. And we want to subtract minus 1 because if we find an element of value 1, we want to mark the index 0. So now let's write our statement to mark an element. The first thing we want to make sure that the index that we want to mark is within the bounds of the array that we are interested in. And check if we've not already marked that index. If it satisfies both of these conditions, then we can do this, which is multiply the value of that index by minus 1. So this is our first traversal. Next, we want to traverse this array again. Again, only up to length of length. And so I have the statement already written and I'm going to just take it and copy it and then provide an explanation for what we are going to do here. So this statement says that traverse this array again up to length and then if I find a positive integer there then return the index plus 1 and th that will find the first missing positive integer. However, if the array gets traversed completely and we still don't find a positive value, then we know that the first missing positive integer is equal to length plus 1. And the explanation for why we want to return length plus 1 and not length is this. Length represents the first index that is missing. Length plus 1 therefore represents the first missing integer. 
So now our algorithm is ready. I have a bunch of tests already written for multitude of examples and I'm going to go there and run those tests. Just bear with me when this builds. Sometimes bills take a little longer than you'd think they would, but it seems like it's progressing. Oh yeah, and there you go. So all the tests finish and they passed. So that is the algorithm. Hope that was useful for you. Thanks for watching.